Hello friends, I am Upma Singh, working as a lecturer at Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on chemistry. Now generally the people from other streams, they don't know exactly what chemistry is. Chemistry lies everywhere. As we used to give an example, there lies a great chemistry in between them. Chemistry, it deals with the composition, properties and behavior of matter. Now, when we say there lies a great chemistry, it means we are talking about some bonds between them or some behavior or similar behavior between them. So, we can say that the composition of the matter, the properties mean whether they are, uh, how they work in the nature and what is the behavior that all comes in the category of chemistry. This chemistry, it is also called as the central science. Why it is called as central science? Why it is called as central chemistry? As it fills the gap between the other sciences just like the biology, just like the geology and the physics. Now this chemistry, generally when, uh, when the students comes into the higher classes, it get divided into three parts, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and the physical chemistry. Now the generally the layman's language, we don't understand what it is. So, I am going to explain what is the difference between the organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and the physical chemistry. The organic as the name indicates, this is formed by carbon and hydrogen. All the hydrocarbons, they comes in the category of organic chemistry. Now it is being said that all the things of the universe, they are made up of the carbon and hydrogen. And the better example is when we used to burn the things, everything of this universe that get converted into the ashes. And what is an ash? Ash is the purest form of carbon. And at our home also we have seen the students, the pencil, the lead in the pencil, that is also the purest form of chemistry. The coal, coal is also the purest form of the organic, com uh, purest form of the organic compound because it is made up of carbon. Then comes the inorganic chemistry, inorganic means it deals with the anions and the cations, means the salt. Where the cations and anions come, they are all comes in the category of salts. And the best example is the table salt, the salt that we use in our dishes. And the formula is NaCl. N is having positive charge, Cl is having negative charge. This is a salt and it, these type of compounds, they form inorganic chemistry. Then comes the physical chemistry. Now this physical chemistry deals with the temperature, deals with the pressure. So we can say thermodynamic and kinetics. When we talk about the working of an AC or the working of a freezer at our home, then it means we are talking about the physical chemistry or their physical aspects. This organic chemistry, it is again divided into three branches. One is the straight chain. Then is alicyclic. Alicyclic is further classified into non-aromatic and aromatic compounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video lecture. And for more details, log on to www.gurukpo.com.